basic definition of net zero is that the house would produce as much energy over the course of a year as it would consume. We wanted a house that we were so happy with that we'd never want to move. One of my interests in my space of living is built on my belief in holistic health. We want to be in a space that we can be really content with morally. Because we also wanted to charge both of our electric cars, we needed a fairly large solar array. One of the best ways was to separate the garage from the house and have panels on both the garage and the house. The site has great solar access. We've got the right sized overhangs on the roof that give shading for the passive solar. And we've also tucked the lower level underneath the main level so that the main level actually acts as shading for the lower level. Noise pollution is minimized because we have an incredible envelope. So unless we choose to have the windows open, I really don't realize how close we are to traffic. We put fixed windows as much as we could and strategically placed operable windows. That's more energy efficient and connects them to the outdoors even more. I love having these banks of windows because it does, it opens everything for me and it feels light and airy. It's great to have a window manufacturer that uh, is willing to work collaboratively to get the right coatings on the windows. I really enjoy on sunny days like today the idea that I'm producing renewable energy that our neighbors are using. I don't have to think about the fact that it's net zero. The house does that for us. Having the place that feels like home, that I feel healthy in, is remarkable to me. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. I take that very much to heart. What was unique about this project specifically was that it was an old house, 1907 house. We wanted to take an ordinary house in an ordinary chilly city like Minneapolis and prove that it could achieve net zero. Part of the challenge was to get a builder and an architect who were sympathetic to that goal. There are several reasons why it really made sense for this project to not tear down and to rebuild. There's a lot of embodied energy in the existing house. The embodied energy is the amount of energy that it takes to take a material from its raw state, a, a tree growing in the forest, for example, and you know, making it into a piece of trim. To achieve net zero in this climate, you need three things. You need the solar for the electricity, the geothermal for the heat and the cooling, and a lot of insulation just to reduce your energy demand. So we added on uh, about seven and a half inches of insulation on the outside of this house, so we made the walls much thicker. The characteristics of windows for a net zero home are for sure the energy efficiency. Another important feature is uh, the solar heat gain coefficient. So how much sunlight does it let in? And the windows contribute to net zero because of the triple glazing, but they also communicate the historical aspect of the home as well. These windows have Queen Anne grills because Anderson had a number of standard offerings that we were able to employ here without having to do them custom. And they're extremely uh, durable and low maintenance. We've had over a thousand visitors to the house so far, and all of them uh, have said that they were just really impressed at this marriage of traditional and the net zero. It is an extremely comfortable house to live in, and in order to do the net zero, I didn't have to do anything differently. I didn't have to sacrifice anything. We're hoping projects like this will really inspire people to want to take even some of the things that are done here to improve their own homes. All of that makes a beautiful, comfortable space.